Welcome to today's class. Today, we are going to look at energy quantization. That's the topic we are going to look at today. Energy quantization. This topic deals with how energy is emitted in discrete quantities called quanta. It means that energy is emitted at different levels. We cannot have any in between. That's why we call it quanta. It means that energy is emitted in discrete amounts specific amounts called quanta we cannot have any in between is it that we have e naught e1 e2 e3 e4 and so on we cannot have any energy level in between and this energy quantization which describe how energy is emitted in discrete particles called quanta was proposed by Max Planck, this scientist. So he came up that the energy is equal to HF and is also equal to HC upon lambda, where C is a constant, C is a constant, where H, where H is a constant, Planck's constant is equal to 6.6, .6 3 times 10 raised to the power minus 34 joule seconds. This is the frequency. D. Then C is the speed of light. Then the wavelength. We are going to use this, apply this in solving different calculations. But I want you to note that there are different energy levels. E1, E2, E3, the ground state is the zero energy level. Then we have change in energy will be initial minus final. Initial minus final. The more, since we have that this is equal to HC upon the wavelength or HF, the more the change in energy, the greater the energy change the more the frequency. It means that E is directly proportional to the frequency. The greater the energy change, the more the frequency. So we are going to use this to solve different calculations. Let's take the first question. An electron makes a transition from minus 3.4 electron volt energy level to minus 13.6 electron volt energy level. Calculate I, the value of the loss of energy due to transition in joules. Remember, it has to be in joules. And I, I, frequency of the emitted electron. So let's write out all that we are giving. Giving E1 initial is giving us minus 3 minus 3.4 electron volts and then it moves from e i to ef as minus 13.6 electron volts then remember h is the plant's constant is giving us 6.6 .6 times 10 raised to the power minus 34 joule seconds then we are also giving that one electron volt is equal to 1.6 times 10 raised to the power minus joules. This is all we are giving. And we are asked to find the value of the loss of energy in joules. So what we are going to do is changing E is equal to E1 minus E final. Remember, we are looking for the loss of the energy. So we are going to have it as minus 3.4 electron volts minus, then we'll now put 
minus 13.6 electron volt. That will give us minus 3.4 electron volt plus 13.6 electron volt. So let's go. At the end, we are going to have 10.2 electron volt. So let's convert it to joules. We'll have it to be 10.2 times remember that one electron volt is 1.6 times 10 raised to power minus 19. so with this we'll get the loss the energy loss as 1.63 times 10 raised to power minus 18 joules we have gotten the first answer then the second one said we should find the frequency of the emitted radiation. Let me start it here. Remember that change in E is equal to HF. So the frequency will be change in energy all over the Planck's constant. So let's go ahead and put in the values. 1.63 times 10 raised to the power minus 19. That's our change in energy. Okay, minus 18 over... 6.6 .6 times 10 raised to the power minus 34. So that we we'll get the frequency. Remember, the unit of frequency is in hertz. 2.5 times 10 raised to the power 15 hertz. So this is the final answer. Another example. An atom radiates 1.5 times 10 raised to the power minus 19 joules when an electron jumps from one level to another. What is the wavelength of the emitted radiation? Planck's constant is 6.6 .6 times 10 raised to the power 34 joules seconds. Speed of light is 3.0 times 10 raised to the power 8. So in this case, we are looking for the wavelength. Write out all the parameters we are giving. The energy E is giving us 1.5 times 10 raised to the power minus 19 joules. The Planck's constant H is giving us 6.6 .6 times 10 raised to the power 30 minus 34 joules seconds. The speed of light is giving us 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second. Then we are asked to find the wavelength. The wavelength using, please always write the formula. E is equal to Hc upon lambda. The wavelength will be Hc upon E. And that will give us H times 3 times 10 raised to power 8. Then E. 1.5 times 10 raised to power minus 19 joules. So if we find out we are going to get the wavelength as 1.32 times 10 raised to power minus 6 meters. So you can, they can ask you for any of them. You just use this. If you are asked to find the frequency, you use this. We are going to go more into calculations and more on this. This is just the first aspect, part one, and I don't want the video to be too long. So we are stopping here to take more questions on energy quantization in our next video. Thank you. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and turn the bell notification for more videos. Thank you.